Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So here's my 10 gallon wild guppy and pea puffer tank. So the last time I showed this was two months ago and I pointed out how dirty it was. And it still is with all this black beard algae, like this whole piece of Mopani wood is covered with it. You can see it covering this Anubius here and all of this java fern and even just bits all over just growing off the the substrate so the last time I showed this was two months ago and at that time I had four pea puffers that I have had for over a year and unfortunately since then I lost two of them one of them I was was expected because it had been noticeably skinny and last time I fed frozen blood worms it wasn't eating like usually they'll go nuts like as soon as there's blood worms dropped in but one of them wasn't eating the other one was just totally a surprise I don't know wasn't expecting it don't know why or how it died but I still have two there's one right here I have to clean off the algae off the front of the glass I'm about to do a water change and I'll be doing that and there's the other one over here so one there one there so two left and there's they are awesome so hopefully these two will, will last a while yeah so I'm showing this tank because I'm gonna do some changes last time I showed this I mentioned I was going to bring over a Siamese algae eater. I still haven't done that yet, but I'm going to do that. And you can see now, aside from the Anubius there, the Java fern here, and it, there is actually still just a tiny bit of the um, Ludwigia repens right there. So I'm not sure if I can. I'm going to be able to get that going, but all of the wisteria in here is gone. For some reason, I haven't been able to have success with plants in this tank. I've had um, the wisteria, um, all that died off. Even before that, before I even added substrate in here, I had hornwort in this tank and I lost all that and that's supposed to be a super easy fast growing plant and I don't know I mean I I haven't been adding fertilizer I should have done that while I had the wisteria in here but um, you know whatever it is I mean there's crazy algae in here things are out of balance I don't know if it's the lighting this tank has I guess uh, a beams work light on this one. And yeah, well. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try guppy grass in here. So a while back I got some guppy grass from getgills.com. When I, I got that and some um, Malaysian trumpet snails. And those are in my, my 29 gallon self in Malayan sword tail tank but with that I got the guppy grass and I I haven't really done anything with the guppy grass other than I put them in this little half gallon tank that I have and well actually why don't I show you that stand by okay so here on this table I just have some little experiment projects and it's actually the this is the two gallon tank I have shrimp in there now I showed those recently but this right here this is full of guppy grass and so i started with 
that amount that I, I got from getgoals.com has just filled up this whole thing, so it's probably quadrupled in size and growth, but just from you know getting you know, this tank has this little light, but um gets plenty of sunlight here, so I'm gonna take a bunch of this guppy grass, move it to the that ten gallon wild guppy and pea puffer tank. So I'm gonna do a water change in that tank and clean it, try to clean it up some, and I'm gonna move this some guppy grass in there and then I'll show you what it looks like after I do that. Stand by. All right, so I just did a water change and here I just added this guppy grass and I added the Siamese algae eater right here. So already from you know, doing the water change, I took a razor blade and I scraped down the front of the glass, so just right there, it can see a lot better. So as it's the front of the glass is clear, we can see how this is all black beard algae all covered up over there in this. Like the Anubias, you can see there's like a nice clean new leaf growing up in the middle, but you know, the outer parts are all covered in black beard algae, and as soon as I put this guy in, pretty quick is going, so going against the glass, picking algae, so yeah, there he goes. So we'll see. I'm going to take a good look at this now, how messy that looks. And over here, see if we can clean off this remaining bit of the Ludwigia repens here and maybe can salvage that. But, so this will be the third time I've put a Siamese algae eater to work. First time I had, I put two. This is one of the two that I put in my my 30 gallon planted library community tank and in a short time they clean up all the black beard algae in there and then I put one in my mutt guppy tank uh, took care of that and so yeah that's pretty much what I'm using these for not because I really want them as a you know community fish but basically just move them I'm gonna move them from tank to tank whenever I have these black beard algae problems and maybe after this I'll put them put one in my my 10 gallon guppy nandler hybrid tank because that has green hair algae and the Siamese I mean the Yamano shrimp haven't have been a huge disappointment um, cleaning that so maybe the Siamese gel algae eater can help with that but alright so oh yeah, and I have this this breeder box, um, before I did the water change, I was floating in here, I didn't mention it, but it was empty then, but I just put this female in here, so maybe I can try to salvage some babies, because no babies have been 